From WCVB TV Boston, this is a new Center 5 special, Commitment 2012, election night coverage. You can call her Senator-elect Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren has beaten incumbent Senator Scott Brown tonight in the race here in Massachusetts. She will be going to Washington to represent the state. So she is the projected winner. She Let's take a look at the numbers involved in this. And this was with 53% reporting. And you can see she actually increased. It was 4% lead over Scott Brown throughout the night. In the end, um, at least in our projection, with 53%, she is definitely the projected winner in here. Let's get to Sean Kelly. He's at the Brown headquarters right now. Sean? Ed and Heather, there's been no official announcement here, but you can kind of get a sense from how quiet it is. And if you look off into the crowd, no one is dancing around, clapping their hands or anything. And there are certainly enough smartphones around where people know what these results are. And in fact, also on the stage now, the podium has gone back up and the prompter as well. That was the same podium two years ago where Scott Brown got up there and announced that he had won. Much different night here tonight. If you look at some of the numbers, you can tell that he just didn't get the number that he got in 2010. Much different, much different when it's a general election versus a special election. But for him to lose in Quincy when he won there in 2010, he campaigned there very hard. That's a good indicator of the kind of get out the vote effort that the Democrats had that even though his message, they thought it really sold to voters, he just didn't get the votes this year. Ed and Heather? And Democrats all across the country have been watching. This was that all-important Senate race. 70 million spent on this race. Yeah. 70 million dollars. Let's get you to Janet Wu. She is at Warren headquarters right now. Janet? Deval Patrick, Governor Deval Patrick has just come out. You probably get a glimpse of him right over my shoulder there. He has just congratulated this overflow crowd. I think the next person that's coming into this ballroom is going to be the fire marshal. There's another ballroom right across the hall. Equally is filled. He congratulated him on the hard work, basically declaring um, Elizabeth Warren as the victor. She is expected to come out eventually, but I understand that she is still waiting for that phone call from Senator Scott Brown. Uh, immediately after Governor, we are also expecting to hear from Senator John Kerry. With me right now is the most senior member of the New England congressional delegation. And we're marking who won your own uh, race tonight. Congratulations. Thank you so that. much. And uh, not surprised by this victory, were you expecting? Excuse me? Were you expecting this victory, Elizabeth Warren, tonight? Uh, I was expecting it. Um, you need four things to win uh, an election. You need a great organization. Here it is. You need great fundraising. She topped the whole country. You need great issues, and she really made a clear distinction between her and Scott Brown, and you need a great candidate. And she was a fantastic candidate. His message to the voters is bipartisanship, that even though he's a Republican, he could work with people on both sides of the area. You've worked with him. Did you find him? to be very easy to work with. And are you surprised that he had trouble getting that message across? Well, again, this year, Barack Obama's on top of the ticket. And uh, this election could very well still, before the end of the night, determine who controls the United States Senate. And if Mitch McConnell, who Scott would have voted for, controls the Senate, well, on clean energy, health care, you go right down the whole line, the agenda for Massachusetts would be undermined. Thank you very much, Congressman Edward Markey. Let's go back to you in the studio. And folks, when Elizabeth Warren, the winner tonight, comes down, you will hear from her. She hasn't come down yet, so we want to bring you up to date on another race that's... This is perhaps all eyes in Massachusetts should be on this race right now. It's the John Tierney-Richard Tassay race. For most of the night, Richard Tassay has had a lead. John Tierney has now pulled ahead by two percentage points with with 58% of the vote counted. Let's get you to the Hawthorne Hotel in Salem. That's where New Center 5's Jack Harper is with the Tierney camp. Jack, what are you hearing there? Well, we're hearing what we heard earlier. It's too close to call, and it's too close for their candidate to come down. And now we know why. Some of the areas they had been counting on apparently are beginning to come through, and it is a lot closer. Earlier, you'll remember, there was a 10-point lead, 5-point lead for Tassay, and then it sort of disintegrated, as you've just reported. A little ways to go yet. It looked for a while, certainly, that he was going to be, the, the congressman, one of the few Democratic lose, losers around here, certainly. We've heard a lot of roars from this crowd. Almost all, though, for the Warren and Obama numbers from around the country. We'll keep you up to date from here. All right, let's take you over to Pam Cross now. She is with the Tassay camp. And, Pam, this is changing by the minute. 
They're taking a deep breath here at Desai headquarters. Things have been upbeat all evening. Now the numbers look like they're a little bit more even. I'm joined by Paul Moore, campaign manager. What areas are you watching? You're looking for? Uh, some of the small towns are still coming in. Basically, uh, all the big towns have come in, Lynn, Salem, the areas that we've expected to be very strong for Congressman Tierney. Uh, a lot of the other areas we're uh, still looking at. Some of the numbers, there have been some broken machines here and there, and we're still waiting for some results. You, th you still think there's room for you guys to improve? Absolutely. I mean, it's neck and neck. You have to look at what precincts have come in and where they, what towns have come in. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Elizabeth Warren doing so well in Lynn uh, is something that's uh, created a problem for us, uh, but it's a problem we can overcome in other towns. All right. We'll let you get back to counting numbers, and we'll also get back to watching at to say headquarters in Peabody. I'm Pam Cross. That's some interesting analysis. But, you know, when, when you've got Elizabeth Warren and, 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 and it, you know, people might go down a little bit, might think, you know, I'm going to vote for President Obama. I might vote for the Democrat Elizabeth Warren. I might vote for the Democrat Tyranny. So it was interesting analysis. Let's take a look at some of the congressional races that we can project now as well. And this one is for the 4th Congressional District. Joe Kennedy becoming the congressman, returning a Democrat uh, to that seat with 62% in favor of Joe Kennedy. He Nikki has already... Um, accepted, by the way. Nikki Songus in District 3. It's a newly redrawn. Most all the districts have been redrawn in the state. She will be going back to Congress. She beat John Goldnick tonight by that margin you just saw. And Mike Capuano, the incumbent, winning his re-election bid in District 7. And for Congressman Stephen Lynch, he will continue to be Congressman Stephen Lynch. The incumbent is a winner tonight, 76-24 of a Joe Selvaggi. You saw Ed Markey there just a few minutes ago at the Warren camp, and he is celebrating a victory tonight with 75% of voters favoring him. Maggie Hassan will be the next governor of New Hampshire. She wins. Governor Lynch is stepping aside, and Maggie Hassan with 55% of the vote right now. She has won. She will be the new governor of New Hampshire. So while you were with us, we can tell you that ABC News has projected Wisconsin has gone to President Obama. So there's another one in the president's cap. More changes are coming. We're going to send it back to ABC News here. And that gives the president 172 electoral votes to 163 for Governor Romney right now. Remember the race is to 270. So that puts the governor, that puts the president within 100 of victory. Times Square in New York City. This is election night 2012. Once again, Diane Sawyer and George Stephanopoulos. And it is great to have all of you back with us on this election night, election headquarters right here in Times Square. And as we know, we are waiting only for five more states for the polls to close in five more states. And we have a projection to give you right now, which affects this race a lot. It is Wisconsin coming in 